Yo, what is up guys and welcome to another episode. Today is going to be all about Chris Runs. I have been asked a couple times how do you play Chris Runs and how else would you play Chris Runs without the Gen X build. But today I'm going to point out exactly how you play Chris Runs, what you need to look out for, um, some important details that you have to keep in mind and I'm also going to show you two or three more ways that you can play it outside of the Tunamorph normal Gen X build that I got to King of Games with. So let's get started. Okay, so I'm going to tackle the main points of this deck first. First of all, you need to understand that C Tree special summons from the graveyard to synchro summon into a monster and then banish the C tree and the monster that you special summon. Next, Rion. Rion targets a monster from your banish pile and special summons. So Rion special summons a monster from your banish pile, synchros into that monster, and then Rion and the monster that you special summons go back into the deck. So you must remember that. So C tree, graveyard, banish. Rion, Banish Pile, Deck. Okay, keep that in mind. Secondly, Smiger, Thivis Fern, Rosenix, and Turtle, press the order. Once you activate one of their effects, first of all, you can't activate the other effect. Let's say you destroy Smiger with Rosenix, right? Let's say you destroy Smiger with Rosenix. You cannot use Rosenix's effect in the graveyard to banish Rosenix to special summon a turtle. But you can use Smiger effect from the graveyard to banish to get a entry or an impact. But if you summon another Smiger, you will not be able to destroy Smiger or another card to special summon a tuner. Okay? So once you banish Vern from the graveyard to search for a Crystal monster, if you summon or special summon a Vern, you cannot use Vern's effect to destroy a monster to special summon a tuner. Okay? So Vern, Smiger, Rosenix, and Turtle, you have to use one of their effect once per turn. Okay? Secondly, the same four, Vern, Smiger, Rosenix, or Turtle, once you activate their destruction effect, which is to destroy a face-up card and special summon a tuner, you cannot synchro summon into any other monsters other than machine type monsters. So if you're playing Black Rose Dragon, if you are playing Brionic, if you are playing White Aurora Dolphin, once you destroy a face-up card with Vern, Smiger, Rosenix, or Turtle, you cannot special summon any of those monsters. You can only synchro summon a machine type synchro monster. Okay? Sulfonir. Once Sulfonir has been special summoned, you can destroy any card on the field. It can be face up or face down. So if you got floodgated, Sulfonir can destroy that face down card. Or you can destroy a face down back row card if you have it as well. Sulfonir only special summons also in defense position. So you must be aware of that also. Sulfonir does not special summon in attack position. Unlike the other non-tuner Chrysrons, when they special summon a tuner from the deck, they, they can be placed in attack or defense. But Sulfonir, it has to be in defense position. Okay, Quarion Gandrex. This one is important. Quarion Gandrex requires two tuners and one non-tuner. It is very important that you keep in mind before Synchro Summoning into a big monster that you're able to go into Quarion Gandrex if needed. For example, Powerden Zectron. Powerden Zectron or White Aurora Dolphin, they are both level 6. Level 6 is a really funny number because you need a level 1 tuner. That is why I use Tuna Morph Normal. With Transcendent Crystals, 
you will still be able to synchro summon with Dolphin if Dolphin is destroyed and special summoned because he is special summoned as a level 6 tuner so you would just have to use you would just have to use Rose Nix's token and a C tree to go into Quarion Gantrex but just you have to keep in mind before synchro summoning into your big monsters that you have enough tuners to make the required synchro summon. So with this build we are using Abyss Spike. Abyss Spike discards any of these water type monsters to then search your deck to add Vern, Smiger, Sea Tree, Rion, or Turtle to your hand. You discard one water type and then you search and add to your hand one level three or lower water type. So that is why we're running Mermail Abyss Spike instead of the Gen X engine. And we're using it with Transcendent Crystals. Now I know a lot of people, a lot of people say, okay, Smiger, not Smiger. A lot of people say Sulfonir is good to run at two or one. You don't need to run three of them. But in my opinion, the more the merrier. The more Sulfonirs you have, the better your chances are of drawing into your combo. Running a deck with one Sulfonir, it puts you in a position too much, whereas you don't have anything to start off your combo, especially with a 30 card deck. Okay, so C Tree, C -tree targets the graveyard. You have to remember C Tree targets the graveyard. So if you have a level 5, in the grave, level 5, a level 4, or a level 3, you can synchro your level 3, you can synchro your level 3 into aim tricks, you can synchro your level 5 into samurai destroyer, you can synchro your level 4 into powered insectron, and once you synchro summon with, with C tree, Remember, it is going over to the Banish Pile. Sea Tree and the monster that you special summon from the graveyard is going over to the Banish Pile. Now, with that being said, if you have a Rion on the field, remember, Rion targets the Banish Pile and then sends both Rion and the monster that you special summon back into the deck. So, if Rion targets a level 3, you synchro into Powered Insectron. If Rion targets a level 4, you synchro into Samurai Destroyer. If Rion targets a level 2, you synchro into Aim Tricks. Now there are a lot of combos, there are a lot of combos that you can set up with Chris Rons. You just have to, you just have to take your time and memorize the cards that you have in your graveyard and your banish pile. You have to be aware of what you have left in your extra deck. You have to be aware of what you have left in your deck as well. Because there are many times where I have dueled and I have, I have forgotten that, oh, I only have one more C tree in the deck or I have run out of Rions because I was not keeping track of my resources. Okay, so now time for the deck breakdown. With this deck and skill in particular, so what the play usually is, is that you send Sulfonir, Vern, or Smiger to the graveyard with Transcendent Crystals to then banish Vern or Smiger to search for a Crystron monster or Crystron spell and trap or the Sulfonir, you start off the combo with it. This is the most popular way everyone is playing it now because it's pretty simple and easy to use. You have Ultimate Providence, you use Ultimate Providence with your Smiger or your Vern to then get a search the next turn. You can use Ultimate Providence also with your Turtle to have the special summon effect for the next turn. Here's another version of the deck. Neo Space starts off the duel with a field card. You can use any skill that starts off the duel with a field card. It does not have to be only Neo Space. It can be Power of the Dark, 
You can even use Middle Age Max. It just has to start off to do it with a face-up card. No. With Neo Space and the face-up card, you can destroy that face-up card with your Vern, your Smiger, your Turtle, or your Rosenix to special summon a tuner from the deck. This helps, whereas you need an additional monster to summon into Query on Gantrax. So for instance, if you have a Rosenix and a Rion on the field, but you have no way to get a C-Tree on the field, you use your Rosenix to destroy the field card to special summon your C-Tree. And there's your Query on Gantrax. Alright? Next up, we have my build. This is my favorite build. This is the build I'm most comfortable playing with. I'm using Tunamorph Normal. What that does is that it targets one normal type monster on the field, reveal one tuner in your hand, and then change that normal type monster into a tuner. So what I do is that I banish my Rosenix from the graveyard to special summon a normal token, change the token into a tuner, synchro with the token into Powered in Zectron to get Black Rose Dragon and wipe the field, or Synchro with Powered in Zectron and C Tree to get a Query on Gantrax. Now, I'm using the Gen X build because it's more consistent in my opinion. Other people may have a different opinion, but once you summon Gen X, you search for your Vern or your Sulfonir. You draw into your Gen X controller. After you search, you have a tuner in hand ready to use with your Rosenix. So you don't have to worry about using Fern or drawing into a tuner. Okay, so before I get to the duels, let's go through each individual card here quickly. First of all, Sulfonir. Discard one Crystal card from your hand to special summon this card from your hand or graveyard then destroy this card or any other card on the field but you destroy this card to then special summon another Crystal monster from your deck. Vern, destroy one face-up card including itself to special summon one tuner on the field in attack or defense position. Also banish from the graveyard to search for your deck to add to your hand one Crystal monster. Smiger, destroy one face-up card on the field including itself Special summon one Chris Ron Tuna monster, attack or defense position. You can also banish it from the graveyard to search for a Chris Ron spell or trap. Rosenix, same thing as Vern and Smiger, destroy one face up card, including itself, special summon a tuner. The graveyard effect is that you can banish it from the graveyard to special summon a level one token. Turtle, same thing as the other three. Destroy one face-up card, special summon a tuner. Its graveyard effect is to banish it from the graveyard to special summon a Crystal monster from your hand. Rion. Rion targets the banished spell, synchro summon, and sends both Rion and the banished monster back into the deck. C-Tree. C-Tree targets the graveyard, synchro summons, and then sends C-Tree and the targeted monster to the banished pile. Impact targets one of your banished Crystal monsters and special summons it onto the field. You can combo this up with your Smiger or your Vern to get an extra search once you Black Rose Dragon, or you can use it after, let's say, Alistair banishes your Sulfonir. You can use it as special summon your Sulfonir. Entry You can special summon a tuna from your hand and your graveyard once it's set. You banish this card from your graveyard to target one face up Crystal monster. You send one Crystal monster from your deck to your graveyard to change the level of the targeted Crystal monster on the field. You combo this up with a turtle by targeting, let's say, a Rosenix or a Rion to change them into a level 2. Synchro summon into Amatrix and then use the turtle that you send to the graveyard to banish and special summon a synchro, sorry, a Crystal from your hand. Query on Gantrax, you need two tuners and one non-tuner to synchro summon. Once it's synchro summoned, you can banish up to three monsters on your opponent's field or graveyard. Aim tricks. Change all face-up special summon monsters to defense position. 
Once it's destroyed by battle or card effect, target one Chris Raw monster in your graveyard and special summon it. Yeah, and that's it for the deck. Stay tuned for the duels. Only one self in here. So I'm going to use my skill, Transcendent Crystals, to dump the Smiger and get one of these. Summon my turtle. Activate turtle's effect. Destroy the turtle. Special summon Rayon. Activate Smiger from the graveyard. To then get impact and set impact. Oh my goodness, I hit activate. What the fuck? Come on, son. That was a huge misplay. Hey, Trinade. So we're gonna just let him go ahead with that. I summon a monster in attack position. From my hand, I activate an equip spell. I would have to check it out. I would have to check it out. I have no clue. Oh boy, I have no idea if I can win with, with that misplay just now. I have no clue. So he's gonna attack and we're gonna Synchro Summon into Forward and Zetron. I guess I can get this back. Since I screwed it up. And just send it right back into the deck. I'm counting on you. I synchro summon a monster. Chill out. My monsters affect that go. Attack, I end my <laughs> It's my turn. I draw. And we got rules next. So I'm gonna summon Rosenix. Rosenix shall destroy Poet and Zatron to get Sea Tree. Turtle in the graveyard is gonna special summon Rion. And Synchro Summon into Quirion Gandrax. And let's banish his monsters. One. Two. Three. Set our impact and attack. He's playing grit, so this is gonna turn off the grit now. Alright, so we have game we won game two. Okay, so we started off with a sulfonier because we're playing three sulfoniers. So we finally got one. Now at this hand, I am going to special summon Sulfonier by discarding, discarding Smiger, so I can get Impact. He's playing Ancient Gears, so I'm going to be very careful 
Oh, I'm setting my cards. He got the Reborn. So he has a reactor in his hand already. Let's be wary of that. He does have a reactor. Okay, let's just see what the back row is first. So we're going to transcend the crystals. Dump the Sulfonir. Get a Ruby. There's no delay as yet. So we're going to special summon Sulfonir by discarding entry. Sulfonir is going to destroy himself. Special summon. Yeah, that special summon Vern. Vern is now going to des destroy Carbonco. To special summon a Rion. Come on. I special summon a monster. Summon Smiger. Come on out. I summon a Smiger destroys himself. To special summon another Rion. I'm going to query on Gandrax. Now normally I won't norm normally I won't do this. Normally I won't do this and go first turn. Come on But seeing as there isn't any delays, I'm just gonna go for it. And I am going to not set the impact. Just gonna attack. It's a drone in Mirror Force. All right. All right. So we have searches next turn. We have a lot of searches next turn. So that's looking in the graveyard. Sulfonir, Smiger, and Vern. So let's search for Impact. Oh, there's a delay now. There is a delay now. And let's search for Turtle. Yeah, let's get Turtle. Since there's a delay, we know it's not Galaxy Cyclone. Sorry, not Galaxy. Um, cos not Cosmic. Well, it could be Cosmic also, but it's not um, Double Cyclone. So we got Turtle. And we got an Impact. Now let's... Let us discard Rose. Let's discard Turtle. Turtle is going to be set up for a special summon. Special summon a Destroy. That special summon. A special summon Rose Nix. Because of that delay, because of that delay, let's now summon Fern. Let's destroy Fern to get a Rion, the final Rion in the deck. Yep, the final Rion. So now we have to keep in mind that if we are going to go into Quarion Gandrax, it has to be with 
a souvenir or with an aim tricks. I'm counting on you. I synchro summon a monster. It has to be one of the two. It has to be with a level five. I'm setting a call. I set a call. So now let's special summon and push for game. Uh, it was the reborn. So we have victory. Because he has no ancient gears in the graveyard. So, yeah, let's go. And we had our entry in the graveyard set up to use with the Rosenix on the field to change the Rosenix to whatever level we need or to dump whatever card we need in the grave to then search. Now because we did that, we're gonna use Transcendent Crystals. We're gonna dump Vern. Do we dump a Smiger as well? Do we dump a Smiger as well? I mean, why not? And thin out, thin out the deck some more, right? Yeah, so we're gonna dump those two and just Draw these two. We're going to search with Verno. Vern is going to get our Salphineer. We are going to now search again. You will get our entry. We're going to smash the summon. By dumping the entry, Show them what you can do. I special summon a monster. destroy the self mirror My to get a Rosenix. There is a delay. Mm. Let's set our Providence. Let's destroy the Rosenix. I'm not going to use the Carbuncles as yet. And I'm going to end my turn. So since he did nothing, I'll do this step by step. Dump Turtle. Force open here. Come on out. I Destroy Sulfonir to I'm get. To I can get a search in here somehow. I'm just trying to figure out how. So let's special Come summon Rosenix. If I do it this way, I won't be able to use Rosenix's token in the graveyard. So I'm going to now destroy a Carbuncle. Destroy Carbuncle. To get... A Rion. And the reason I am not worried is because I have Providence, Providence set and Impact in my hand. So if it's a trap card, I am going to negate it. And I have gain. So now that we have 3, 3, and 4 in the field, we need a level 3. And I set it up this way that I can use Entry on Vern, sorry, entry on Tiltnix to send Vern to the graveyard to make it a level three. Special summon your boy, Query on Gandrax. And let's just hope it's not an enemy controller. I 
Ah, fiendish chain. So this is why we did not set our impact. So we can now discard our impact to negate that. Now we are going to search for our self near. And we could have special summoned Smiger, but I did it this way to make sure that there's an OTK if you did not have Smiger in hand. And we can still summon. <laughs> and we could have still summoned. Alright. Times two, scrap recycler. We're running times two, Vern, and we drew into both of them, bruh. So we're going to use Vern. Vern is now going to. Hmm. Vern is going to destroy the Neo space to get a C tree. This way I can set up a search for next turn. That's why I'm doing it this way. Check this out. I synchro summon a monster. And I'm going to set my cosmic. And end my turn. Um the best choice to just go on a first turn freaking. Okay, so now, once per turn, I am going to banish it immediately. I'm not going to let him do anything with it. Let's just get rid of it immediately. And that's it. So now we're going to get our search. Let's get our self in here. Where am I going? So self in here is going to discard Fern. Special summon himself. Mm, I have not summoned this yet either. I have not summoned either. Get Rosenix. Summon, summon C tree. Join me. I summon a monster. Now I can go into Quarion Gandrax or I can go into Dolphin. But the best play right now would be to go into Dolphin. It doesn't make sense to go all out into Quarion as yet. So let's set our impact and let's attack. Let's wait, let's reduce. I almost forgot. Let's reduce. Now let's go. Does he have. Nope, he doesn't have anything. This was perfect. Good game, X. Good game, my brother. Let's go again. Hey, yeah. <laughs>